Okay, I guess I can say a few things before tonight's big performance. So let's start by taking a look at what's under the hood of the Q50. The Q50 is powered by a 3.7 liter 24 valve V6 that produces 328 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. It comes with a 7-speed automatic transmission and a manual version is not offered. It does have the flappy paddle shifters behind the wheel though to give you a little more control over your gear changes. The Q50 has 13.5 cubic feet of cargo space, which for a sports sedan is pretty average. New for the 2015 Q50 is the option to add a performance wheel package, which gets you 19-inch raised forged aluminum alloy wheels. If you can take the monetary hit, it is definitely worth it. One of the coolest things about the Infiniti Q50 is its personal assistant feature, which gives you your very own team of personal assistants ready to help you 24-7. They can look up sports scores, make dinner reservations, get directions, or anything else you can think of. From the app, you can pick how they respond to you, either by email, text, or a phone call. The Q50 has a ton of safety features and technology features. One of the most impressive is the new active lane control. This system is a camera-based system that further helps to keep the driver from drifting into another lane. Not only does it help when you're actually drifting into another lane, but can actually make fine adjustments. Another impressive safety feature is one that is being described as the world's first predictive forward collision warning. This system can sense the relative velocity and distance of the vehicle directly ahead, but it can actually go one step further and sense those same things for the vehicle traveling in front of the preceding one. This gives you just a little bit more of a safety cushion in the event of an accident. Located on the center dash is the Infinity InTouch dual display system. The top screen is your map and navigation, and the bottom screen is for things like audio, your phone, your apps, email, compass, and a host of other useful things. Many of these things that can be controlled by the touch screen can also be controlled by hard buttons on the dash. Another nice little feature that the Q50 has is its dual climate zones. If the driver is a little bit hot, they can turn down to 61, 60 if they want to. The passenger tends to run a little bit on the cold side. They can keep theirs up at 68 or 70, something like that. With this little switch down here, you can pick which drive mode you actually want to drive in. And there's actually quite a few of them. There's personal, sport, standard, eco, and snow. My only gripe with this is, let's say you want to drive in eco so you get a little bit better gas mileage. When you turn the car off, and when you get back in and start driving again, it's gonna just go right back to standard. The acceleration is nice and has a good sound to it. The drive is pretty comfortable. It's a little bit more on the firm side, but not too much. I mean, after all, it is labeled as a sport sedan, so they can't make it too squishy or anything like that. There's a good amount of space in the cabin and you don't feel like you're sitting right on top of whoever's in the passenger seat or like you're bumping elbows or anything like that. So it's pretty good and the back seats are pretty spacious as well. The 2015 Infiniti Q50 is a refined and handsome car that manages to succeed in the performance front as well. But for now, I really should start saving my voice if I want any chance at winning this competition tonight. Now, we don't have any bags or luggage or anything like that to demonstrate how much space there is in here, so I'm gonna fill in. So as you can see, it's actually not too cramped in here. Hey, what, what are you doing? Hello? Very funny, but it's hot in here and dark. What's, something's touching my, hey, hey, I think there's something in here with me. Hey, oh, hey, a quarter. Hello?